Hello YouTube, this is Aman and today is back. I'm back with new video tutorial. Uh, this is a small video tutorial and it's show, I'll show you how to set up PPT, PDP, PN server on Windows Server 2016. Uh, this is the same tutorial like um, as Windows Server 2012 but um, many guys have some problem that if they have a new something new in Windows Server 2016 but it seems uh, everything is same like as Windows Server 2012 so I hope there will not be any problem to set up Windows Server uh, VPN server in Windows Server 2016 so let's set up in Windows PPT VPN server in Windows Server 2016 so first I'm going to going to serve Windows Server Manager and here is options to add rules and features and server selection, uh, server rules, features. Uh, in server rules, you have to select our remote access, and you press next, and press next, next. You can see that direct access VPN routing and web application proxy. So basically, uh, I got the service from Amazon AWS. So which means they are providing VPN, providing the IP address, uh, the server which is behind on. NAT net so that means the server has a private IP address and you can change your external IP address anytime so you will have to go there here's the main trick that you can select the VPN server not as like as normal tutorial but you have to go for direct access and another is routing so press click next I'll explain why I'm selecting this one and now press install so this will install some repository like IIS tools and something else like that so I already installed IIS in here and I was about to make another tutorial to set up a PHP in Windows Server 2016 but unfortunately I removed that video so that's uh, this ca that case I made IIS set up in Windows Server 2016 so meantime uh, we're gonna create uh, a username and password for VPN access so let's go computer management and uh, in computer management uh, we go uh, local users and group users you can see that uh, as my users so I'm gonna create new users uh, give me give that username as access um, ignore the full name password should be um, let's give a password uh, okay it's okay it seems okay okay user can change the password password number expert and create uh, I think the password did not match match with the requirement uh, let's say let me change the password again create okay now this is worked so in password uh, go to the properties and let's create a user as a user group and session you should select uh, dial in uh, hello uh, here you have to select allow access and press apply you can either uh, assign a static IP for your server but uh, I'm just ignoring this one right now so press apply and ok so here the server um, PPT VPN server uh, Windows VPN server has configured I need to configure now so let's go to get start wizard and here we'll, we'll see some it's taking time okay uh, in here you can select three option uh, I'm gonna select uh, deploy VPN only and here you can see that server is stopped and I'm gonna configure the server in remote access I press next uh, remote access no I'm gonna select custom configuration press next uh, I'm gonna trick uh, VPN access and net uh, you can check a LAN routing but uh, it's optional so I'm not going for that so press next finish 
uh, make sure you have open uh, port 1723 uh, the PPTV VPN and if you like to install the rest of other VPN service like L2PS IPsec then you have to open the specific port which we uh, which used to go with that VPN protocol so let's start start service uh, this case I'm gonna use on like PPTV VPN server so that need that needed 1723 TCP and GRE 47 port so I already did open port in uh, Amazon firewall and uh, here I'm we're gonna go to properties and security uh, make sure you have authentication and select uh, EAP and CHAP version 6 version 2 and press OK IPv4 has the important part you have to select static IP pool and here you have to add some IP address in here basically I'm going to use class C IP address in here so 192.168.10.10 and I'm gonna give 10 users uh, in my VPN server and press OK and there's everything uh, for basic configuration so just press apply and OK so uh, now we have uh, configured our VPN server now your user can connect your VPN server but he, it has no internet access so that's uh, that's why we needed uh, IPv4 and go to the net and uh, press right click and make sure you can see that uh, new interface uh, I'm gonna select internet 2 Ethernet 2 has internet access in this div uh, in this virtual server, so press OK. Uh, private public interface connect to Ethernet and enable net on this interface, and uh, press apply, and press OK. So this is all everything. So let's take out the, our server. Our server is working. Here's the IP address. So we're gonna connect our IP address server as IP address, connection name, connection server name, VPN provider windows. So I'm gonna select VPN as PPTP and username and password. Uh, I'm gonna select um, the created username access and password. Uh, I think uh, it's okay in here. So let's connect. Okay, it seems you, uh, the server has connected. Uh, so now you can uh, browse internet like let's uh, browse the internet in here ignorance report uh, here let's go let's check your IP address if this working or not you can see that uh, it's working in here so this is all about all about our today's video tutorial, and I hope you guys uh, understand uh, got this. And if you guys have any pro question or any problem on that, I uh, need to in uh, can you guys can uh, ask in comment section so I will try to reply. So thanks for watching this video.